All right, so tell me about uh, this week, this is our, our the 19th our annual RoboSub. So, so what has it, how has it gone so far on uh, the past couple of days? Right. So we started out, uh, we haven't actually water tested. So this, this on Sunday, we actually did our first water test with the sub. Uh, we had to uh, get the end caps working. We had to uh, uh, make sure that the end caps were, were actually holding water. Uh, we did a lot of epoxying with, the, with these end caps. Uh, so once we uh, did our initial water test, we had to start doing the PID system. And it actually turned out that our uh, motors uh, were, were dying. And so we, uh, we had to figure out why they were dying. And we actually figured out that uh, these blue ESC pucks, they, uh, um, they don't actually, uh, they, they have a high failure rate. And so we've, uh, we've we replaced one of the motors. We're waiting for the, the epoxy to dry right now so we can keep on water testing. So our, our biggest challenge this week was, uh, was uh, hardware failures. Uh, and not necessarily uh, software failures, which is good because usually it's it's uh, extreme software failures that uh, that inhibit us. <laughs> so mechanical failures are easier to fix. Yeah, and then so tell me about today. What have you guys been doing so far? I've seen you guys just kind of like recoding or yeah. So uh, we figured out that also our PID system on the this Teensy board right here. Uh, it actually it, it doesn't work as well as we'd like it to and we wanted a little bit faster and more real-time system and so we decided to recode the uh, the PID system uh, inside of our main board and have it handle uh, that so we're actually recording the entire PID system right now um, it's uh, we're, we're just taking the concepts we had from our, our Teensy and transferring it over so it's not actually complicated it's just we're uh, uh, we're just recoding it Gotcha. And so you guys are hoping to get into the water tomorrow, right? Uh, we're hoping to get into the water tomorrow. Uh, tonight we're actually going to do a whole bunch more water testing. Uh, and we're probably going to stay up till about 4 a.m. And, uh, and, and, uh, and get it all going. And calibrate PID and, and go crazy. <laughs> and so what do you think about today? You know, a lot of, a lot of schools, a lot of people coming out seeing what, uh, what you know, the RoboSub is all about. So what do you think about you know, seeing all these people here? I think it's great. Like, uh, it's a great networking op opportunity. Like, uh, we, uh, uh, we're local, so a lot of people want to come and visit us. Like, we had a visit from the, the uh, co a congressman today, our congressman representative. And, uh, and he, you know, came and talked to us and took pictures. And, you know, he's going to actually promote our club uh, on their congressional website. So it's, it's, you know, it's a nice networking opportunity. It's also fun to explain how a robot works. Uh, we enjoy, you know, throwing out, like, we 3D print our end caps. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's fun. Yeah. And then for the people who, have, you know, are not able to come down but are curious to see how the RoboSub works, how does it work and how, um, you know, what, are, what's, what does the job entail for this competition to succeed and, you know, beat the other schools? Uh, well, first you have to... Uh, be really good at navigation so uh, navigation is the key to success and after that it's all just experience and uh, recoding everything that you've done and based on previous years uh, it's 90% uh, of it is just is just experience <laughs> and uh, so like uh, with the team at City College like what do you um, and you're the team president right right so over the past year how has it been going and you know to this day this is like what you guys been working for so yeah so uh this entire year has been a challenge uh from just getting parts to putting it together we uh we spent a good six months just trying to get these end caps working and we started with uh, uh just trying to forge them out of actual aluminum cans we actually collected about 20 cans and uh, built a forge and uh and melted down aluminum to try and build an end cap and that failed miserably and so we spent you know about four months on that we spent another two months developing these plastic end caps and so it's it's been a development period that's uh, been challenging and fun at the same time yeah. and then the biggest takeaway from this week like uh, open doors but biggest takeaway is uh test early test off often we uh we definitely uh we finished our build about a week before robosub and so we haven't been able to test it uh a, a whole lot and so uh next year is, is definitely be in the water often and uh and get everything uh situated Ha <laughs>